Hey friends, Damian Mason giving you an agricultural perspective on Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez and her recent media appearance on MSNBC and her discussions on the Green New Deal as it relates to the industry of food, fuel, fiber, and farming. If you missed it on Friday, she appeared on MSNBC in a town hall style meeting. It was fantastic because they had all of her adoring fans in there and they talked to her about her ideas on climate change. When it got to agriculture, it kind of started off like this. They introduced the topic of cow flatulence. That's right, and it got a great laugh. And then it said, she went on to say, Representative Cortez, cow flatulence is an issue as it relates to methane. It doesn't mean we need to end cows. And all the people laughed and applauded because they adore her. Then she said, what it means is we need to innovate and change our, our, our grain, our cow grain, which, you know, they feed in these troughs. It means we really need to take a look at regenerative agriculture. Like, these are our solutions. These are our solutions. And then she was again applauded and everybody loved her. Now, I'm a farm kid, 49 years old. I have a degree in agricultural economics. I own 300 acres of farmland and guess what? There is no such thing as cow grain. There are all sorts of grains, you know, from corn to soybeans to wheat to oats to flax, uh, grain sorghum, but there's no such thing as cow grain. Also, there's no such thing as regenerative agriculture. I've never heard of that term until, in fact, Friday evening when I saw Ms. Cortez on MSNBC. I had never heard of regenerative agriculture, but it doesn't matter. Those that want to control us love to make up language which either glorifies their own agenda or demonizes us as we do it. Factory farm, industrial agriculture, those are all terms that we didn't come up with. And then, of course, sustainable agriculture. Yeah, it's sustainable. It's a great marketing term. It's a buzz phrase. But what about if it becomes policy? You see, Ms. Cortez scares me for a lot of reasons, and I believe she should scare you, whether you're in the business of agriculture or just an average or normal everyday person that wears cotton and eats cheeseburgers and wants to just have the benefit of agricultural product. She has an outsized media influence. She can snap her fingers and be on any news outlet. She has 3.8 million Twitter followers. Mind you, her district, if you counted every person in her district, is only about 747,000 individuals. Yet she has over five times that people that keep up with her every word on Twitter. Second reason you should be scared is too many people in agriculture are saying things like, oh, the woman talking about cow furts. Oh yeah, we should just educate her. You know, she should just learn about the business of agriculture. You do not educate an ideologue. Do you believe that you could have educated Fidel Castro into understanding the benefits of capitalism? She deems and defines herself to be a socialist. She believes that we need a greater government control. She believes that she has the answers. As a 29-year-old that's never been on a farm, she believes that agriculture is wrong and she can fix it. You will not educate her. Third thing that you should be concerned about, the third thing that you should absolutely be concerned about is too many groups that are supposed to have our back in agriculture have not had our back. When she announced the Green New Deal and specifically talked about we don't need to be eating cheeseburgers for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, you should have been concerned, National Corn Growers Association. You want to fight Anheuser-Busch where only a few percent of your corn ends up in corn syrup. You want to sue Anheuser-Busch over their ad campaign about corn syrup. Yet over 30% of your corn goes to livestock feed. Why are you voiceless? Why am I hearing crickets? And then, of course, there's the issue with the National Cattle and Beef Association. This is a pretty big deal if she wants to do away with cheeseburgers. And what about the Farm Bureau? Crickets. Fourth thing that should concern you. While she may not understand agriculture, she is a very gifted politician. She's attractive. She's young. She's vibrant. She has tons of media following, big names in the Democratic Party like Michael Moore say we need to get behind her. That's the direction we need to take. So what you should be concerned about is that she wants to control an industry that has worked very well for America for a long, long time. Part of the cornerstone of our financial and economic prosperity is agriculture. Yet she wants to do something about factory farms, to use her language. What does that mean? And who defines factory farm? Is it techniques, technology, number of employees, number of animals, how they do things, whether they use chemicals? Does that define factory farm? And who's going to define that, Ms. Cortez? Is that for you to define? So where do we end up? It means that when she says we're going to do something about factory farms, that means government control? Is that collectivization like we had in the former Soviet Union? And you're saying, Damien, you're making too much out of this. Maybe I am, but I don't believe I am, and I'll tell you why.
Every person that wanted great control latched on to a cause that sounded good to the populace. And her cause is environmentalism. Sure, we all want a better planet. We all want cleaner water. We all want clean air to breathe. So by collecting, by collecting the power of the environmental movement and then her God-given political appeal, she now is going to control an industry. And when she seeks control of food, you know what we always say, when you control the food, you control the people. She wants to control the diet and our industry, thereby, thereby controlling the people. Be scared, people. But don't be scared about her laughing off cow farts or her ignorance. Be scared that she actually is not that ignorant and she has a bigger agenda. I'm Damian Mason. I talk about the business of agriculture.